Hey there, this is Alex and welcome to the second video on my YouTube channel. As I'm recording this, it is currently the second week of January, which means it is one of the best time of the year to get a job. So I figured I would share with you guys the top three reasons why I think you should become a data engineer this year and why I want you to be excited to be one. I'll briefly mention them now and then I'll give more detail later on in the video. Here they are. Being a data engineer is a very rewarding job. If you like challenging yourself, being a data engineer I think would be a great fit for you. Since the field is always changing, there are always new things and new technologies to learn and keep up with. The final reason why I think you should be excited to become a data engineer this year is that it's very high in demand and it has a high salary. I think if these two reasons are appeasing to you, you should consider getting this position. If you're interested in more insights and more of my opinions on why you should become a data engineer, keep watching. First off, if you're looking for a really rewarding job, being a data engineer I think would be a great fit for you. I've personally been a data engineer for a couple of years. I have worked in different industries and different company sizes. No matter the environment that I was in, I always found it really, really rewarding. I got to work with data scientists and help them build, deploy, and maintain machine learning model. I was lucky to work on data solution using cutting edge technologies like NLP and computer vision. I was also fortunate enough to work with smart analysts which showed me different insights in their respective industries and how to get them efficiently and effectively. Another reason why I find it really rewarding is because a lot of the data engineering work is transitioning towards software 2.0. This is a concept that Andre from Tesla created a couple years back, which I think is the future. If you're interested in it, I highly recommend checking out his blog post. To my understanding, it means using machine learning models and data sets to solve real world problems rather than using traditional programming. A lot of work that I do today as a data engineer is just that. Someone comes with me with a problem and a data set and they want a solution that is interpretable and effective. I find this kind of work to be much more rewarding since I get to work with ML models and data sets. So rather than worrying about variables and semicolons, I get to worry about models and data pipelines. This allows me to think about the problems differently. Rather than being bogged down in code, I get to think more realistically about approaches and different methods and try to understand which one is better suited for the solution that I'm building. This brings me to the second point, which is data engineering is an always ever-changing field. So there's always new tools and new radical approaches that are coming and being developed both by industry and academia every day. This leads to a lot of things that you need to know. Not only you have to have a good understanding of basic data structures and programming, but I think it's also crucial to understand how different systems interact with each other and how they talk and communicate. As a data engineer, there are quite a few tools and concepts you have to be familiar with. For example, you have to familiarize yourself with concepts like MapReduce, the Cap Theorem, and tools like Spark and Hadoop. You'll have to be familiar with a couple programming languages like Python and SQL. A critical skill for being a data engineer and in 2021, I think it's being comfortable and understanding the cloud. Getting what different cloud providers, what tools and services they offer is a must. Every company that I've worked for had some sort of level of cloud adoption. Some of the companies are either already working in the cloud and computing space or they're moving towards the cloud. If you enjoy testing your skills as a data engineer, you have quite a bit of certifications that you can get. Different companies like Amazon and Google have different certificates. I've personally taken the Google Data Engineer one and the Amazon Solution Architect one, and I've learned different things from each one of them. If you're interested in more of the certificates, I can make another video. Just let me know in the comments below. The final reasons why you should be excited to become a data engineer in 2021 is because you want to have a high value skill that is hard to replace with a good salary. The field is always growing because you're producing an enormous amount of data on a daily basis. The job market shows high demand for data engineers. In fact, as you can see on LinkedIn, if you do a quick LinkedIn search for jobs, there are more data engineer openings than there are for data analysts and data scientists combined. So data engineers have good starting salaries. It's possible to advance positions 
throughout your early career and start making six figure within a couple years. Not bad, huh? Also, data engineering gives you flexibility to work in different industries. Since your skill set is still technical, you're not constrained to a specific domain. That concludes my three thoughts on why data engineering is a great field. And if you have any more reasons why you believe that data engineering is a good field to be in, let me know in the comments below. Also, give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!